it's the importance of being able to to pivot and change as well. So like I said, step by steps are important. And I always caveat this that it's not working aimlessly. Like you said in both your example, and I said with mine, I've got an end goal. I know where things should be, and I know the key steps along the way, but I don't necessarily know all the detail in between, nor do I need to know all of the detail. That's where that that step by step breaking it down approach comes in. But also I found stuff as I went. The common thing in house, I mean, I'm sure it's the case for lots of people who are in 100, 100 plus year old houses, is that nothing is quite what it seems. So you open something or you remove something or you peel back something and you find all the horrors that hide underneath it. So wiring isn't like it should be. Or I had one bit, I I um, took off a skirting board and half the plaster came off the wall where it's just really poorly filled in with filler or I had a couple of radiator leaks when I started to, to find out you know, started to move stuff around, which had always been there. I just had no reason to notice it. It was just kind of running down the back of the pipe, for example, or wiring wasn't right somewhere, et cetera, et cetera. Loads of things like that. So actually, I came up with new jobs that I had to do that weren't originally part of the plan, but became jobs to get to the end result that I didn't know were there. So the plan had to adapt and it had to change. And there were things we were going to do that we ended up doing slightly different, either because we ran into an obstacle or actually it's, oh, now we've done this actually this would be better like this so the the headline goal was still redecoration and a lot of the you know this room this room this room but the more you get into the detail the more adaptive it becomes on actually the specifics of what you do and how you do it and why you do it and i just think that's as a part of all this kind of reaffirming a a lesson we like to talk about in breaking stuff down and keeping things small and focusing on the small picture as well as the big picture adaptation's key if you if things start to change if things start to move in fact if what you want starts to change as you move on it's not only okay it's actually advisable to adapt with that in fact if you don't adapt somewhere along the line chances are you've not been doing it right in some way or another i think that's i think you've got to accept that as part of the process and when you do you don't get thrown by it. it's not like oh there's something new what's going on you once you accept that that's what you've got to do as part of the process i think it again just makes it a lot easier and lots manageable breaks down the stress that comes with things so that yeah. was my last bit adaptation was my last kind of bit to throw in that i know is part of the plan and i've experienced heavily during the last few months <laughs>